Okay, now let's talk more about COVID and I'm going to be frank. We're not in a good spot. Cases are surging. Our hospitals are running out of room and there is not enough staff to care for the rush of new patients. Now, I'm not saying these words to stoke fear. My friends, this is our reality in Midland Odessa and all of this information comes directly from our health leaders and they again are sounding the alarm. Francisco Soto shares their plea tonight. Tatum, it's not good. Leaders from both hospitals at a loss. They say that we're on track for this surge to be worse and last longer than what we saw late last year. They say the only way out is to get more people vaccinated. Another wave of COVID-19, and this one is different. The transmissibility of this virus and the amount of viral load we're seeing in the community, everyone's getting exposed. So you're either going to get it or if you're protected, you won't get it, or you may get it and have an asymptomatic case or get minimally sick. Hospitalizations on course to reach an all-time high, when morale is at an all-time low. Frontline workers believe a majority of hospitalizations could have been prevented. It's very important for us to understand what's going on. You have to understand that previously the healthcare community felt strongly about being there to take care of the patients uh, in our community that had no other way to protect themselves. Now, this is almost voluntarily not allowing yourself to be protected. The morale in the healthcare community is going to be very different. There is a way you can prevent this. Doctors making another plea to West Texas, get the vaccine especially those with underlying conditions. But if I can appeal to anyone, it's the patient out there, the individual in our community who is obese, uh, who has hypertension or diabetes or some other chronic disease. Your life, your health is very much at risk today. And if you have chosen not to be vaccinated, you need to make a choice to get vaccinated. Our unvaccinated in here is the majority of the people we have in the hospital. Our vaccinated people are very small part of the number. So does the vaccine cure it? No, it doesn't. Does it give you a better chance to survive? Yes, it does. And that's what we're talking about now, survival rating, is, is how you survive this. For News West 9, I'm Francisco Soto. Okay, you've heard from our hospital leaders. Now let's talk numbers that continue to indicate that without any sort of big change, COVID's not going anywhere. We have not seen a surge like this in West Texas in almost a year. The current number of people hospitalized in Midland and Odessa is three times as high as where we were this time last year. Now you can see that upward trend that we saw last year in November. If you take a good look at your screen, medical experts say that if we keep up the current pace, we will eclipse that high from last November. And with that in mind, the message from healthcare professionals, it's simple, get vaccinated.